morning, Barkley Brookers. I'm not sure which story you started with, so um, I'm gonna give you my little intro again, just in case you started with this one first. So last week we talked about Crankensteins, and some of the comments were that your brother or sister could make you a Crankenstein, which is very true, it can happen, even though we love our brothers and sisters. Sometimes they can make us a little cranky by touching our stuff or maybe eating our candy when they didn't ask permission first or playing with a favorite toy or breaking it but they can also help us get out of our Crankenstein moods as well. And so I have a story for you called Cooking with Henry and Ellie Belly. And there's actually something really cool about this story. It's written by Carolyn Parkhurst, but illustrated by Dan Yaccarino. Um, if you remember, we had our visiting author this year, Ross um, Burak. He came to visit us this year. Well, Dan Yaccarino, the illustrator of this book, he came to visit Barkley Brook a few years ago. And he signed this book for our Barkley Brook students. Do you want to come say hello to the first graders? There's Brody. Say hi, first graders. Hi, first graders. This is uh, my big guys, Wiley and Zoe. This is their little brother. And sometimes do big brother and big sister make you a Crankenstein? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right? They make you cranky sometimes? Yeah. And sister makes you make horrible noises like, eh. mm -hmm. Right? But do you also love to play with them sometimes too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you, you want to go sit over there so I can read the story? No, I'll just sit with you. Uh, but if you, okay, we, we can try this. Okay, so this book is actually my Zoe's personal book, and you can see it's signed for Zoe, and that's by Dan Yaccarino, and he drew her a little picture. And this is Cooking with Henry, the big brother, and there she is, Ellie Belly, the little sister. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this with you on my lap, my friend, but I'm going to try real hard. Hello, I'm Henry, and this is my little sister, Eleanor, but I like to call her Ellie Belly. Welcome to our show, Cooking with Henry and Ellie Belly. Cooking! Here's Ellie Belly. Henry. And the puppy. And the puppy. All right, you got to get down. I can't read with you on my lap. Today we'll be making raspberry marshmallow peanut butter waffles with barbecue banana bacon. And now, here's our theme song. Cooking with Henry and Ellie Belly. This show is good. This show is great. We cook the food, but not the plate. Cooking with Henry and Ellie Belly. Cooking! I help! Now, before we get started with our recipes, we need to put on our chef hats. No chef hat, pirate hat. No, Ellie Belly, this is a cooking show, remember? We need to wear chef hats. No chef hat, pirate hat. Okay, you can wear your pirate hat, I guess. Henny pirate hat, henny pirate hat. Mom, what is it? Ellie Belly says I have to wear a pirate hat. Sweetie, she's two. You don't have to do what she says. Henny pirate hat! Henny pirate hat! She won't stop saying it. Work it out, you two. <gasps> I say those words all the time, my friends. I know I've said it to you guys in the library too, right? Welcome back to Pirate Cooking with Henry and Ellie Belly. Baby Ann! Okay. Welcome to Pirate Cooking with Henry, Ellie Belly, and Baby Ann. Cooking! Baby Ann. Now for raspberry marshmallow peanut butter waffles, you need to get the finest ingredients possible. We start with 17 cups of imported flour from Kansas, and we mix it in a bowl with two jars of peanut butter and 12 duck eggs. Pizza, I help! No, you can't put pizza in it. Pizza, me do it! Then mix everything together with a whisk made of the finest metal possible. Baby Ann, go swimming! Mom! Here's baby Ann going swimming in the bowl. <coughs> Says, we'll be right back. They're taking a break because... They are having technical difficulties. Baby Ann, take a bath. That's right. Baby Ann is taking a bath in the washing machine. She'll be back later in our show. Getting back to our waffles. Next, 
You have to count how many years old you are. That's how many marshmallows and raspberries you need to add. So, my waffle will have five of each and Ellie Belly's will only have two. Not two, five. Five for Ellie Belly. Sorry, Ellie Belly, that's what the recipe says. Now it's time for a commercial. Buy a car, buy a giraffe, buy a rocket ship, buy some pudding. No, 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 no. Welcome back. Now, there are two ways you can make barbecued banana bacon. You can start with the bacon and add the bananas, or you can start with bananas and add bacon. It's really up to you. And while that's in the oven, let's check on our waffles. You want them to be crisp, but not crunchy. Brown, but not black. Hot but not cold. I help cook. Actually, Ellie Belly, our food is just about ready. Maybe you could help me eat it. Eating, I help. Not right now, please. Mmm, delicious. Where food, Henry? Well, it's just pretend food. We have to pretend to eat it. No pretend food, real food. Try a bite, you could really taste the marshmallows. Come into the dining room, you two. I made you some real waffles. Real waffles, I help eat. Join us next time for Pirate Cooking with Henry and Ellie Belly. Baby Teresa <coughs> and Baby <coughs> Teresa. Bon appetit. So, to do it the other way. did Henry's show turn out exactly the way he wanted it to? No, right? Whoa, he wanted whoa. chef hats, but he wore the pirate hat to keep his little sister happy. And he really didn't want baby Anne in the bowl. And he really didn't want the pizza in the bowl. And he did ask his mom for help a couple times. But sometimes he let his sister have her way because she's little. And I know sometimes that can be hard for us, but... Um, Sometimes it is hard for our little brothers or little sisters or big brothers or big sisters if you're the little brother or little sister. And so sometimes you need to make a compromise. And over these days where you are inside and away from your friends and your brothers and sisters are the ones that you have to play with or your mom or dad uh, or, or your dog or your cat, sometimes you have to compromise what your idea is uh, just to, to let the fun happen. Otherwise, you turn into that Frankenstein, and being a Frankenstein is no fun for anyone, not for you and not for anybody around you. So make sure that you are using your imagination, my friend, those good, strong, smart bubblegum brains that you have. Let those bubblegum brains stretch and grow, and don't be afraid to change your original idea. Sometimes you can have fun you never thought you would have just by making a compromise and changing the way that you want to do things. All right, enjoy your day.